everyone, and thank you. My research. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So my research is focused in understanding how the Harlem Renaissance of the 1920s and the 1930s used the arts as a way to build community identity and pride for African Americans in a way that had never been seen before. So the arts have often had an instrumental role in improving and strengthening communities, and the Harlem Renaissance is no exception. Never before or since has a movement been so influential in building identity and community pride. I will use four main arguments to show how the arts were able to unite the African American community and create a sense of pride within Harlem that still exists today. My first argument, or my first point, is going to be defining a movement. The power of the arts is that it can help define a movement, brand a community, and set it apart from others. My second point is going to be about identity. The arts can give a sense of ownership, pride, belonging, and social cohesion within communities. Third is going to be about collective memories. While looking toward the future, there were artists who helped preserve the past and a collective memory of what life had been like for many African Americans, not only in Harlem, but across the United States. Fourth is going to be about belonging. The arts help bring people within a community together and foster a dialogue that continues today about the past, the present, and the future. So when you're talking about building community identity and pride, the example of the Harlem Renaissance is that it brought diverse communities together with the help of the arts, providing opportunities for residents to reflect on their shared and individual experiences. Ownership, belonging, and pride, the arts have enabled communities to transform a negative image of their neighborhood into a more positive one. Memories, the arts of the Harlem Renaissance live beyond the lifespan of the individuals who created them and leave, leave a legacy for future generations. And the arts can also be used in communities to encourage healing and celebration. So now I'd like to give you some examples of how the Harlem Renaissance did that. First, we have jazz. The Harlem Renaissance impacted art and music in a manner that forever altered American cultural landscape. It has been argued that the Harlem Renaissance was the defining moment in African American literature because of the unprecedented outburst of creative activity among African American writers. Arts. African Americans were encouraged to celebrate their heritage and redefine themselves through art. The great sculptor Augusta Savage produced many talented, amazing, and touching works of art. Also poetry. Among the poets, writers, and essayists that came to Harlem during the 1920s, Claude McKay, Langston Hughes, Anne Spencer, and James Weldon Johnson created some of the most inspiring poetry of the day. Magazines. The Messenger, Opportunity, The Crisis Magazine. All of these made literature available to the masses. The NAACP was founded in 1909. The National Association for the Advancement of Color People was founded in part by W.E.B. Du Bois and has had a long history in the civil rights movement in America. Nightlife. The Apollo Theater in Harlem and the Cotton Club, also located in Harlem, celebrated African American performers and featured many famous dancers, singers, and musicians. All of these examples highlight how the Harlem Renaissance was used and used the arts to build a strong African American community, define a movement, and set it apart from others. It preserved the past and a collective memory, and it brought social co cohesion to unite people. Thank you.